In this video, we are going to represent and compare decimals using manipulatives such as decimal squares. Follow along with your manipulatives and record picture models as needed. The questions you should be able to answer at the end of this video are, what is a decimal number, how can you represent 38 hundredths using concrete models, and how to compare 38 hundredths and 3 tenths. What is a decimal number? A decimal number is a number that represents part of a whole. To further explain this, I will use decimal squares. When using decimal squares, there are three different types. The first is a unit square that when completely shaded represents one whole. The second is a tenths square that is partitioned into ten equal portions that when completely shaded in also represents one whole. And the third type of decimal square is the hundredths square that is partitioned into 100 equal portions that also when completely shaded in represents one whole. Now our second question was how can you represent 38 hundredths using concrete models? 38 hundredths can be represented by covering 38 of the equally portioned pieces in our hundredths square. The 3 in our 38 stands for 30 equal portions of our hundredths square. The 8 represents eight small portions also shaded in. Now our hundredths square is shaded in to represent 38 hundredths. Our third and final question for this video was how to compare 38 hundredths and 3 tenths. Since we have already represented 38 hundredths using a hundredths square, we will now represent 3 tenths using a tenths square. The 3 tenths means that we are shading in 3 of the equally portioned pieces of our tenths square. Now that we have represented both 38 hundredths and 3 tenths, we can now start comparing both of the decimal squares. If you take the 3 tenths place square and hold it over the 38 hundredths square, you will notice that the 38 hundredths has, seems to show one more bar completely shaded in. Once we set it back over here, we can come and look that even though it's not a completely shaded in bar as a tenths would be over here, but there are still more than three completely shaded in. So seeing that between our two representations, we can say that 38 hundredths is greater than three tenths. In this video, you learned what a decimal number was, how you could represent 38 hundredths using concrete models, and how to compare 38 hundredths and 3 tenths.